Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying something a little different. Um, finger coils. So finger coils are something I've never actually tried ever on my hair throughout my natural hair journey. I've been natural for so long, but um, one of you guys requested it. Actually, a few of you guys requested it on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do. Um, but yeah, you guys requested it, so I want to try it out today. So the two products I'll be using, both from Curl Prep, um, the Bigger the Butter and the Around the Way Gel. So this was the two products that was used for my wash and go. Um, so yeah, I want to try them out again and see how I like them. But yeah. Alright, so there's going to be a few things I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be using my q redo just to um, moisturize my hair a little bit. I am going to wet it, but I just want to steam my hair a little because I feel like my hair needs steam. And also something else to note, I am going to be putting the front of my hair away. I'm just going to work on this section right here because I might as well work in sections. So I'm just going to use my q redo some oil on my ends okay and now I'm going to moisturize the entire section with uh, bigger the butter um, this is a water-based product very like kind of watery but kind of creamy but more on the watery side which I want because I want my hair to really get some texture so that it'll take this finger coil on really well. I don't want to use too much product though, because I know I'm going to be using a lot of gel. So the back of my hair is the loosest, so no, I know it's going to coil really well. This is taking forever. Where my hair is more kinkier, I need smaller sections so that it could actually curl. I'm just going to wrap. Make sure those roots are tight. And then I'm going to keep going. This took like four hours, like, I'm tired, I don't know. This is, I would have to keep these in for at least two weeks because, no. But they're cute, I won't lie, they are definitely cute, but the shrinkage is real. Like, it goes from here, like, oh my gosh. My hair feels really good, a lot of hold. The places where there's more, um you know, 4C kinks. Those coils are kind of like not coils, <laughs> which is funny, but it's still, it looks good though. It looks pretty good. Honestly, if the front of my hair wasn't giving me such problems, 
I would definitely coil them and I feel like they would look cuter because I would do like a side part. I mean, you guys kind of get the idea. I just don't want to disrupt right here. I don't want to be picking at it because I know if I coil these areas, they're still going to be out and I'm going to have a tendency to like pick at it and I want to just leave this part alone. So I'll probably end up putting this into a ponytail and going about my life. Or honestly, I'll probably just wear a wig on top of this. <laughs> but this is a nice, cute, like, protective style if you don't, you know, if you kind of just want to put your hair away. I know if my hair is a little longer, it would look so cute. Or if my hair was, like, shorter. I just feel like my hair is at a weird length for these coils, but whatevs. At least you guys see them. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video... Definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell too. So you always get notified when I post a new video. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.